Love leader, thank you again for the wonderful work you are doing, your perseverance with the group. Some of you without seeing much results even, but you have been steady and strong and God bless you for that. There is always reward in heaven for those who diligently do the work of the Lord. However, we want to multiply, we want to embrace the world in prayer, we want to continue to grow. And the key is that our prayers be answered. The other day I was saying to the Lord, Lord, one of the, the maybe the greatest problem I find, the greatest uh, challenge and frustration in our faith is that you don't answer many of our prayers. Why not, my Lord? And I believe the Lord gave us an answer to all of us in Lamentations chapter 3, verse 8 and 4, and then 55 and 4. Though I cry and shout, He has shut out my prayers. He has blocked my way with a high stone wall. In other words, He blocked me. The Lord erased me from His account. He has blocked my way with a high stone block. He has hidden like a bear or a lion. In other words, I cannot even feel him or see him anymore. This was the desperation of a man surrounded by the destruction of a people who were persistent sinners and refused to obey the Lord and punishment came on Jerusalem. And now this man is saying, he has shut out my prayers. Now, for some people, when they get to this conclusion, God is not answering my prayers. That's it. That's the end of the story, the end of the intercessory ministry, the end of their ministry, faith, hope, everything starts collapsing because they lost their confidence and they see that God himself is blocking them and then they don't have any more hope that God can answer the prayers. And others... They don't get very discouraged. They just say, this is the religious thing we need to do. We pray, 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 pray. God doesn't answer. And so, but we keep praying. The goal of prayer is not to pray. The goal of prayer is to seek the Lord until we find Him. And we find His answer. My father used to teach us all the time. God has always three answers. He always answers in one of three ways. Yes, no or wait. Yes, no, or wait. God always has an answer to our prayers. So it is a dialogue. It's not a monologue. We are not like every other religion, you know, praying, 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 but they pray to a wall, they pray to a, an image. And so what do we do? How do we help our groups? How do we encourage the faith of our groups when they don't see miracle after miracle, answer after answer? Well, the answer here is in the same chapter of Lamentations 3, but if you go to verse 55, this teaches something practical in our Bible studies. If you don't find the answer here, most likely it's nearby in the Bible. Start seeking the entire chapter, the entire uh, book, the entire writings of a certain leader, uh, the entire Old Testament, entire New Testament. however it goes, the key is that we don't stop. We continue to search for the answer and the miracles of God. Verse 55. Well, let me go back to verse 54. The water rose over my head. In other words, what was bad got even worse. And that's typical of our days, right? Typical. He said, the water rose over my head. I cried out, this is the end. For many people, things are getting worse. And some of them are th losing hope. They are losing enthusiasm. They don't expect anything from God. Verse 55, there's the answer. But I called on your name, Lord, from deep within the pit. You heard me when I cried. Listen to my pleading. Hear my cry for help. Yes, you came when I called. You told me, do not fear. Lord, you have come to my defense you have redeemed my life. He got his answer. He got his confidence back. And it's all in the same chapter that he's narrating this answer. My friend, don't give up. This is, this kind of victory is for people that persevere, even in destruction or in ruin. So the secret of prayer is, maybe in the words of Winston Churchill, Never, 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 never give up. Keep strong, 
keep persevering until you get your answer from the Lord and teach your group to do the same. God bless you, beloved leader. Keep strong.